Hi guys, in this video, I will show you how to install the Gollum client on Windows 10. It might seem daunting at first, but it's quite an easy process with some guidance. Open up your browser and head over to our website, gollum.network. Click download and you will be directed to an OS specific installation site. In our case, Windows 10. Click download and wait for the installer to be downloaded onto your hard drive. It can take a while, so I will fast forward a bit. Double click the install file, just like with any other Windows app. Gollum is being extracted, so we need to wait for a second for it to complete. We have to install some prerequisites before actually installing Gollum. We see that Gollum requires Microsoft Visual C++ to be installed. After clicking Next, your system will ask you if you want Visual C++ to make any changes on your machine. Since this is required, we click Yes. After a few seconds, and after Visual C++ is installed, the pop-up will show up. This is an important step. If you're upgrading from versions prior to 0.19, be aware that Brass Column Beta 0.19 uses Docker for Windows. Docker for Windows comes with a new type of virtualization support. Hyper-V, native virtualization built into Windows 10 Pro. This is in place of the old Docker toolbox. This virtualization change should provide a more stable environment for Gollum nodes. Please be aware that if you are using any other virtualization software, for example, Docker toolbox or VMware, do not install Hyper-V, as this could potentially impact performance. For example, VMware will not work at all. If you encounter any problems with Hyper-V, you can still uninstall it and try to run Gollum with Docker Toolbox. If you are a Windows 10 home user, you will not be able to install Hyper-V. Fortunately, we have kept Docker Toolbox support in this case. The only downside is that you will have to install Docker Toolbox manually. Detailed instructions are included in a step-by-step -step installation with Docker Toolbox tutorial linked in our description. In this case, we will use Docker for Windows, so we click Yes. The Gollum setup wizard starts. We click Install. We need to accept Gollum's terms and conditions. We are picking the installation folder. Remember to install Gollum on your system drive. In our case, it's the default C drive. So we leave it as is and click Next. In this window, you can choose where you want to have Gollum shortcuts on your machine. I would like to add it to the startup folder. So I pick it and click Next. Now we can install Gollum. Windows will ask you to allow Gollum to make changes on your machine. We click Yes, and that's all there is to it. Gollum will be installed on your machine. And this may take a while depending on the power of your machine. The last step of the installation is to restart your machine, as this is required in Windows for all the installation steps to take effect. And we are back after restarting our Windows machine. As you can see, we are running a mainnet version of the app with Real GNT and ETH. So you should be careful with all the actions that you take, since you cannot reverse transactions. Next, we need to accept terms and conditions. Also, you can help Gollum by sending your logs and statistics so we can track and repair the most common issues with the app. Let's select both and move on. Just before setting up a password, you will be reminded that there is no password recovery option, so you should be careful both with picking your password and keeping it in a safe place. Let's create a strong password and register. Your new node in the Gollum network is being created, and it should not take much time. As we do care about your account access, we offer you the option to print out your password. Just please remember to keep it in a safe place. And in case you want to store it as a PDF, keep it on an external drive and delete the main file from your hard drive. This is just a demo, so we will click Next and skip this step. To run Gollum, you will need UPnP. 
or ports 40102, 40103, and 3282 forwarded. If you have never forwarded ports before, please see the link in our description for instructions on how to do it. To become a provider, you simply allocate the desired amount of resources and start the app. Keep in mind that network traffic varies, so if you see your node in an idle state for some time, it just means that there are not so many tasks in the network right now. Right now, Gollum supports Blender as its first use case. So if you want to render your animations, just drag and drop your files under the Task tab screen and send them to the network. Now let's name our node. You will be able to change the name later in the task settings. You will also be given the identicon that will help you identify your node in the Ethereum network. Now that the app is up and running, you can check your settings. You can allocate resources with a simple slider, or by clicking Advanced and selecting how much CPU, RAM, and disk space you would like to share with other nodes. Below those settings, you can also share your GPU. It's exclusively for Linux users for the time being, so you won't be able to share it on Windows, but when it becomes available, you will know where to find it. If you want to use Gollum only for requesting, you can also tell Gollum that you don't want to compute any tasks. Under Transaction History, you will have all the payments for computed and commissioned tasks visible. As this is a fresh node, all the incoming and outgoing payments are empty. In your wallet, you will see all the details of your account, so all GNT and ETH stored, as well as the Ethereum address where you can send your tokens to commission computations in the network. As you can see, withdrawals are now disabled, as our account has no funds inside. Remember that in order to withdraw GNT, you will also need ETH in your wallet to cover transaction fees. Under the basic statistics, you will see a link to the app logs and on the right side, a link to our chat. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoy using Gollum.